this is this is going to be a big day of uploading because I really don't have a lot else I can do right now. I'm at a point right now where I have to go up to Elliot's and I just couldn't go today. Um, I had every intention of going up and things occurred. So what we're going to do in lieu of that is I'm going to do some videos that I've been promising for a while. And then I am going to do a live feed because I'm going to announce the fact no one on Patreon bid on this. I have a couple of Browse knives. One of them's definitely up for sale. The other one is something I'm debating if I'm going to sell it. I, I love this thing. I really do. So I have not decided. This, this will have to go for more than that because that's just, I've been looking at running prices. This has only been carried twice. But at any rate, what we were going to talk about, and I had said it in the last video, I promised you guys I was going to do it. I said it months ago, but I've been kind of careful about what I'm putting up because of the fact that I was being demonetized. The second I would post anything, it, you know, after like six or eight views, my stuff would get demonetized. But we are going to finally get around talking about this handgun that I have right here. This gun, let me go ahead and make safe. Clear and safe. This is a, this is the uh, XDS 45 ACP, and it is the 4.0. Now, this is a very, very compact gun. As you can see, I have the five round mag in it. I do have the seven round mags for this. So as you guys saw, there are five rounds in this magazine and there's a round on the table because I subscribe and adhere to the thought that the most dangerous gun is an unloaded gun. <clears throat> and I don't mean that because, oh, the unloaded gun's the one that always kills somebody. No, that's not what I'm talking about. As a gun owner, and someone that relies on the fact that I'm proficient with a firearm and has firearms to protect my family, the most dangerous weapon to me is a weapon that I have to make ready. So my rounds are always in the chamber and the gun is always at the ready. This gun has got no physical safety. It really doesn't. I have two guns out here today because we're going to talk about this gun kind of replaced something else. Um, these guns are made in Croatia. I did not realize that until this, my father gave me this gun. Uh, this was my father's carry gun when he was in civilian clothes, because my father was, was a cop. And so anytime that he was not in uniform, he would carry this because it carried very, very well. It carried very cleanly in, in, a, concealed, in a concealed way. It doesn't pattern, it's very small. But I'm gonna tell you about the things about this gun that are pretty freaking awesome. One of the, the I've, I've got several other 45s, they're all 1911s, and they have got that rattle. That rattled you here in a 1911 that lets you know that that gun is never gonna fail because there is so much slop in there. That gun's always gonna go bang. It does not matter what grit and gunk and nastiness you get down in there. It's going to go bang. This one is almost as reliable. Almost, and if you look carefully, you can see I, this gun gets carried a lot. My dad had had this gun for two months when I went home after he got diagnosed with cancer, and it was given to me. So that wear that you're seeing on that, that's all holster wear from me carrying this firearm. I do carry guns. I do own guns. I will not back down from protecting my family. So that should tell any of you guys that have always asked me questions about how I feel about firearms and things like that. That should tell you, but now we're gonna get into the guts and meat and potatoes of this. But before that, I have to make ready and clear and safe this gun. This is the gun that this gun replaced as far as day-to-day -day carry. Now this is the one that nine times out of 10 is on the bed stand because two reasons. This gun is more accurate. This gun has a higher max capacity if you can see that's a much larger magazine than this now this is in 40 smw this is in 45 as you can see you're not looking at a huge difference but as far as home defense this kind of bridges the gap and is the best of both worlds it gives me the accuracy pretty much the accuracy of a nine millimeter but the stopping power of a 45 because sometimes slow, short, and fat gets the fucking job done. And that's how I think of a 45. And as you can see, I don't, I don't 
I don't uh, F around, as they say, when it comes to my choice in ammunition. So both of these guns have been made safe. But this is a Sig Sauer Sig Pro 2022, also with no physical safety. This gun is always hot and always ready to go. But the thing is, as far as carrying, you guys can just easily look and see at how much smaller the the XD is than the, the SIG Pro. So that's the SIG Pro 2022 in um, 40 s and w now, both of these are composite guns, which means that they're fairly light compared to if this was an all-metal frame, 1911, it'd be heavier. Now, if you hang on a second, I'm going to go get one of the seven-round mags, and you can see what it looks like. So now, I mean, it's really... I'm not going to rack one, but that's a very compact package. But pause here for a second, and we'll go look and see what it looks like. I forgot to grab it. You know me. I don't prep anything. So... Sorry about that. Like I was saying, the the nice thing about this gun is I can go from a compact, basically the same size package of a compact 1911, like the Warthog, to basically, and I'm not gonna rack, I'm not gonna rack one, I'm just putting it in for demonstration purposes, to basically a full-size 1911 package. I mean, side by side, they they look very in size, size-wise, they look very similar in size. Really narrow, very easy to, I mean, the sights, drop that. The sights on that gun are, um, they have a red fiber optic in there. They do not have any glow in the dark, anything. But here's the thing, to tell you the truth, I don't need that in my bedroom. If I'm six feet away from you, I'm gonna hit you. I'm 10, 12 feet. In my bedroom, I'm not going to miss you anywhere. Uh, action on this is really strong and good. Uh, this, however, does have the SIG Tritium Night Sights. So, just another little difference. But what I'm going to do now is, we're going to break this down, and I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see some of the most interesting things about this gun. One of the things that I found amazing. All right, guys, so just hang out just a sec. Ooh, got windy. All right, let me clean off a little area here. I got a mess here. I've been out here. So one of the things about these uh, Springfield Armory XDs is that they are, they're, I mean, they're pretty dialed in. They come with some they, they come as well built as any gun I've ever carried. And it's like I said, you can see it's had some wear. I put some rounds to it. But the thing about these is they break down. <laughs> where I put on it. They break down really easily. You lock this back, you tip that up, you let the slide forward, and then you pull the trigger and the whole slide assembly comes off. Inside you've got your operating rod and spring are all one piece. It, it well they're they're actually four pieces but it comes off as one assembly so you have the exterior rod you have this spring you have this rod and they all it's like having a double <sighs> helical spring you got a double spring in that that is uh actually pretty cool you get a good stiff action on that and then all you do after that after you've taken out that pretty much unless you're going to take the trigger assembly apart which i do not advise you're just going to lift that barrel out and there's the rest of your assembly now you can do check your firing pin you can push your firing pin out but if you don't put you have to push that in push your fire you have, oh, I just, I can't get it now there we go you have to push down on this to get your firing pin to go out now you check your firing pin and all that there's bolt face as you can see it's got some schmutz on it really nicely made Every, all the parts are really nicely made everything's marked everything has got serial numbers so that you can verify that you have the same parts associated with the same gun let's see here so if you look there's your serial numbers 
Now, this is the one that I find amazing, and, and pretty much every one of the XDs I've handled comes like this. Look at that feed ramp. That feed ramp. Most people pay someone to do that. That is one of the most polished feed ramps I've ever seen. And a lot of times you have to pay someone. So in comparison, I'll set this all here. And we'll grab this SIG. And like I said, don't get me wrong, I love this gun. This gun is a little bit more difficult to take apart. So basically, it's like a 1911. You got to get to the sweet spot, push that, which is your decocking lever, and your, and I'm sorry, not your decocking lever, your slide release, and your pin all in one. And then you take the slide off. And then you can take out your operating rod and spring. Operating rod and spring on this one, obviously you can see it's a little bit different. SIG does a very good job with it. But this is actually just hard rubber. Now people have said, oh, I can't believe you trust that. I have never had a malfunction in this gun, never once. I actually had a malfunction in this gun, but I think it's because it's brand new and it's tight. But if you look on this one, that feed ramp is nowhere near as polished. This gun has, has, has been shot a lot. This gun actually is the one that got stolen from me. But you can see, it's just a little bit different. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, all, all semi-autos share a lot of the same design features and things like that. But the comparison here that I was trying to make was, look at that feed ramp. Now, I've never had a failure in this. And I've never had a failure to feed in this. The failure I had was a, it was a stovepipe, and I think that was ammo. That thing needs cleaned. That one's good and clean. That one needs. God damn, Mike! Look at your gun. Whew, what's wrong with you? So, all right. But basically, I mean, that's all your features. Now, this light, all of your weight comes from this chunky slide. Your receiver is pretty. It's all composite. Same with this. But this one's a little bit heavier. Um, because there's a there's a whole nother assembly in here that is not in this one. As you can see, there's no hammer assembly and things like that in this. There's a whole bunch of material back in here, and then there's a bunch of stuff underneath that that's not in there. Now, this does have a grip safety, grip and trigger safety. So this is really light. Like I said, made in Croatia. These things are really, really awesome. And all this does is basically it's just a, a locking cam that locks your gun together. So let me go ahead and get this put together and I'll, we'll turn this back around and talk about it a little bit more. You guys, it just occurred to me that I should probably show you the reassembly on this because, you know, that's since we're doing the video and everything. So basic reassembly on it is so simple. Drop the barrel in, operating rod, fat end forward, push it in there. And I'm having to watch it through the viewfinder and I keep getting my hand in the way so I can't really see, but there's a little notch on the barrel right here at the lug, put that in, put some tension on that, and that's it. Now you receive your uh, slide is reassembled, barrel and slide assembly. Real simple. Throw that on there. Lock her open, drop that down. Your gun is back together, ready to go, and it's cocked. But as you can see, there is no physical safety on this gun. Slide release, takedown lever trigger that's it trigger pull on this not bad so now we'll get this turned around and have some final thoughts i i did a video of putting this one back together a while ago so we're not going to visit that so now that i got it oop, i got this crooked. my i apologize if things look wonky i'm still trying to get this figured out because when the canopy collapsed the other day it kind of bent my tripod kind of out of whack i had stuff set just the way i wanted it and now it didn't damage the tripod but it, it shifted things and ever had everything level and i was pretty just happy with the way things were and then mother nature just decided to throw a hitch and a giddy up so um but like i said this really really solid solid firearm so i uh I've had no issues with it so far. I probably put, I probably haven't even put a thousand rounds through it yet. Probably, probably closer to 500. 
but I am a firearms owner. I'm fucking, you guys know if you watch my channel, that was my job when I was in the military. I was I was a weapons guy. I did weapons instructing, weapons maintenance, weapons, you know, I did ordnance on and off loads and things like that. And so it signed it like my friends are all like kind of strange that you don't have very many not, very many gun videos up well that's not the direction my business has went and it's not something that i do on a daily basis anymore so it just seems more natural for me to do something that i do on a daily basis but um i am going to load and make ready this weapon because the worst thing you can do is forget that and then expect a weapon to be ready when you need it and this one is going to ride back on my side here while I get this other one put together so yeah and I see I see people talking about oh I can't believe that that somebody bought a, a I saw I saw something about a lady that cut the barrel off of an AR-15. She wasn't happy. She, she'd had guns all her life, but she wasn't happy that her husband bought that gun. And, and after seeing what happened, they just decided that they, they wanted to, to take care of it. And they cut the barrel off the gun. And I'm like, I've got a, a whole safe full of firearms. I've got shotgun and one, there's two here, five more in there, four more in there, something like that. None of my guns have jumped out of the safe and ever just ran off and killed anyone. So these, it, it all goes back to a firearm is only as dangerous as the person owns it, that, that owns it. It's no different than a knife. A knife is no, da no more dangerous than a screwdriver, unless the person that owns it is a freaking idiot. And in that case, a screwdriver, they shouldn't have it either. I don't necessarily, I had this out just planning because I had an idea for a video that I was going to shoot and I had this out. I, there's no reason these should be illegal. It's just a knife. It's not a weapon. It's just a tool. This, that's a weapon. I can't use it for any other purpose. It's a very, very, poor, very, very poorly designed hammer. So, yeah, guys, that's it. This, long, this video was a little bit longer. I had something else planned that I was going to do this afternoon, and it just kind of didn't happen. I was going to start on it. I was going to take you guys through, and I was going to show you since I did a video about ceramic, I was going to do a video about anodizing, but it just didn't work out. I couldn't get up there. So I had stuff that it's, I just had other things that had to happen. And uh, not that they took up all the time, but it's just, it's kind of late in the day for me to start heading up to the shop and even trying to do anything. It's, it's four, 440, almost four, almost five o'clock in the afternoon right now. And uh, I, I don't want to try and fight traffic. Go up to Elliot's and, and dick around for maybe an hour or so. So that's it. There will be a video about some other stuff coming up. I am going to do a live feed as soon as I get this edited together. I offered this browse to the Patreon. and The Patreon community, there's like 26 or 27 of them. No one really bought, no one bid on it. Uh, so we're gonna do a live feed. I'm gonna talk to you guys about this, but I've got to get all this other stuff taken care of first. So expect a live feed a little bit later this afternoon. I don't know. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. I might just do it right after. I might do the editing and put it up right after. But that's pretty much it, guys. You guys take it easy. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Keep your powder dry and your guns. Keep your powder dry and your knives sharp. And I will see you guys next time.